I was in a community and I met a group of elderly mothers, so the, the, the mamais, and they had just organized themselves and organized the community to, to work with youth and to work with boys and men especially about addressing harmful norms in the community that raise their risks to HIV AIDS. But seeing that, that community mobilization um, is very inspiring uh -huh. and our partners really support that by providing mothers training or um, access to materials and information or um, providing information on the latest data on HIV in Mozambique. One of the most interesting programs that I manage is a cross-border intervention with uh, Vietnamese women who have either migrated or been trafficked to, to Cambodia uh, where they engage in, uh, in sex work which places them at increased risk for HIV. So what we, have, uh, what we have tried to do is to make sure that there are HIV prevention, care and treatment resources in place in Cambodia uh, using service providers who speak Vietnamese and using outreach and education materials that are uh, available and printed in Vietnamese for the Vietnamese women who are there. It's a long story, it's a roundabout story. Um, from, a, from a pretty early age, I've been interested in working internationally, working in international development. And um, right after high school, I volunteered for a year in Nicaragua, and it really opened um, up my view of, of how the world works, of global economy, um, foreign affairs, um, poverty. And between then, um, between that time and when I actually went to graduate school for public health, I had done other um, stints in volunteer work overseas. You know, it was, uh, it was a bit of an interesting journey. Um, I first went to, uh, to Vietnam in 1998 to, to do uh, research for my dissertation in, uh, in criminology. And I really enjoyed living and working in Vietnam. And as I was there longer, I actually started to meet folks who were working in uh, in the field of global health, primarily with uh, HIV AIDS and uh, HIV AIDS prevention among drug users. During my undergraduate program, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, um, but I looked at medicine and then I looked at doing lab science and it didn't really sort of interest me. So after I finished my undergraduate degree, I decided to join the Peace Corps because I wanted uh, to travel a bit and see what development work was like. Um, so I joined the Peace Corps right after I finished school uh, and spent two years living in West Africa. O meu nome é Cherry Gumapas. Estou trabalhando como missão do Zaid em Mozambique como assessora de prevenção da HIV SIDA. Really, you learn so much. And the most important thing you learn is that you know nothing about what it's like to live <laughs> in another person's country or in another person's situation. And once you learn that, that's really important because then you go with that for the rest of your career. They took me to a meeting um, that was an advertising agency that was doing a TV program on HIV. And they told me that the, the plot of the story was this. They said, here's the plot of the story. A woman's husband is fooling around and he gets HIV and she's the only one working in the house and she's paying all the money and he's fooling around and this is going to be a 13 week series and I looked at the people and I said okay stop I said, stop you know she's gonna leave him now you don't have 13 more weeks to do so you know and so this guy who was an elderly gentleman stands up and he was Ugandan and he said to me he goes let me tell you something. When traditionally in Uganda, when a man comes home at night, a woman puts her forehead to the floor to greet him and stands up. And he looks at me like this. And I said, she's not going to leave him. And he goes, she's not going to leave him. <laughs> that was my first hour in Uganda in cross-cultural training, you know. And that's where you start learning, I know nothing here. Every time I find myself in a situation where what I've done in the field 
can translate into I can help translate it into policy that can be disseminated in a way that makes a difference anywhere in the world. Not necessarily just HIV, help fix some health system somewhere and it will help improve someone's life and it also helped improve a lot of my colleagues in clinical practice. I'm satisfied. So that's what motivates me. <laughs>